to see something that is awe-inspiring. Uh, don't look to blood-stained old myths. Now, why now? Why am I doing this now, people ask. Well, I'll tell you why now, because in the last few years, it's become impossible to turn a page of a newspaper without being, as the religious would say, offended. <laughs> In other words, I don't think I sound self-pitying if I say that I'm offended that a cartoonist in a tiny democratic country in Scandinavia, Denmark, can't do his job without a death threat, and that no American magazine or newspaper would reprint those cartoons, either to elucidate the question or in solidarity. I'm offended that civil society in Iraq is being destroyed, leveled by the parties of God. I'm offended that people in this country believe that they have the right to advocate the teaching of garbage to children under the fatuous name of intelligent design. I believe that we're... Um, oh, I thought you'd never clap. Um, <laughs> just as I believe that where religion ends, philosophy begins, where alchemy ends, chemistry begins, where astrology ends, astronomy begins, and now when the people will say, well, let's give equal time to astrology in the schools, it's nonsense, dangerous and sinister nonsense. Uh, the Pope says, AIDS may be bad, but condoms are much worse. What kind of moral teaching is this? And how many people are going to die for such dogma? You see what I mean? So, so, I just, I'll, I'll be very brief. There's an end to this, an end particularly to the cultural cringe that says that if someone can claim to be a religious spokesman, they are entitled to respect. I have to say it in your presence, sir. I think that the title reverend is something people would, should be more concerned to live down than to live up to. Thank you. We